Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. At this point, I feel I should differentiate it always by saying uh, it should be a Batman DC Multiverse video, but in either case, it uh, comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is the new Target exclusive gold label Sinestro Core Batman. And usually, Target goes for red things, now they're trying to get yellow as well. Sinestro Core Batman, all over the box. And you get a uh, barcode right here for when he starts to hit store shelves. Should be around June, maybe July-ish. Just keep that in mind. But in other case, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane toys from their DC Multiverse line. Batman in his Sinestro Core digs. That is a Target Gold Label exclusive. It's getting every more wordy, every single video, right? But if you're still here after all that, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And yes, I know that's an orange lantern. A friend of mine gave that to me. It's just really cool. And uh, it's the only thing I really have from the Sinestro Corps, to be honest with you. But here is Batman all out of the packaging. And uh, it's a pretty cool looking figure. This was one of those where they revealed it. I was like, nah, okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. But I really do think that if I would have saw this on store shelves before they sent it over, this is one I probably would have grabbed. I like the yellows going on. He does come with a reused accessory. This is the one we saw with the Dark Knight's Metal Green Lantern. It was a green construct. Now they've done it in yellow. And I gotta say, you can see it a lot better in yellow, and it's pretty cool. This is one of those accessories I don't really mind they reuse it. It makes sense in that whole situation of the light spectrum of the Green Lantern. You know, thank you very much, Jeff Johns, for doing all that. But uh, it's very cool, either sense. Batman himself is, again, interesting. Not something I would have gone like, yeah, I need that. But at least it's a cool-looking Batman. And the yellows that they used are really bright yellow. And I like that because there's little to no bleed through to the black. You know what I'm saying there? Goes all the way around the belt, paint, everything, yada, yada. Got this big cape. The cape is huge. It's very heavy. Kind of pulls back on him. Right here, you have the Sinestro Core logo, Yellow Lantern logo, whatever you want to call it. And he does have the ring, which I'm stoked about that he has. But there's nothing imprinted on it. There's no design. It's just like a bloop. It, it, even though it's sculpted, it kind of looks like a bloop of paint is what I'm trying to say. Now... You got the Sinestro Core logo on the front. That's painted nicely. Everything's very crisp. Everything's very clean. You run into some quote-unquote inconsistencies with the costume where it starts to hit all the joints. The head is still a little bit small. We looked at the prior video game version of Batman for the Earth 2. It's really my same thoughts. This one, though, fares a little bit better. I like this a whole heck of a lot more. Right here, like I said, the butterfly joints, you'll have to realign every single thing when you start to move them around, which is kind of a pain, but at least there's paint up there, so I'm not going to really fault him all too much for that. You got the usual DC Multiverse articulation. There's nothing crazy. He's got the bicep. He's got the double-jointed elbows. But again, I like that you can get him looking at the yellow lantern ring. I totally dig that. That's really the only function and posability that you need other than kind of getting him in maybe into a flight pose if you wanted to do that, which you could totally do. Just get a flight stand. The belt is painted, the waist, upper diaphragm. The one hindrance, I would say, he's a little bit loose, a whole heck of a lot looser than I would like when you start to pose him around. That's one thing, but again, I think the cape kind of pulls back on him a little bit, kind of loosens up the abdomen and all that jazz, you know what I'm saying? But get him in a flight stand, and he looks pretty darn good. This is good for photos. I had a good time just kind of messing around with it, posing him out, doing all those flight positions. Even though for me, this costume was kind of a one and done in a few panels way back when, you can kind of sort of attach the construct, although that's where a new construct would have been cool to have something actually form function to his wrist and his ring. You know what I'm saying? But it does look good. Now, I didn't know this, but the Sinestro Core ring has come back because Batman kept one because of course he did and then used it to fight off powering in one of the most recent comic books yeah i mean that totally works i guess whatever you want to say now 
in looking at what's come before and kind of comparison with the Earth to Batman, this is kind of sort of a video game skin as well. So it works in that sense. They have changed enough for it to fit either or figure. Again, I'm glad that they gave him the new hand with the ring on it, yada, yada. So it's at least a different figure. McFarlane has really gone to town with the repaints recently, a lot more so than they really initially started out when we were getting like, Different head portrait, you know what I'm saying? Say what you want about character selection. For me, it's really the scale over and over. And when you have like the larger characters, such as Necron, if you want to have a giant Green Lantern core display on your shelves, which a lot of people definitely do, this Yellow Lantern Batman will make for a great figure, as well as having him pair up for a weird Elseworlds tale with classic Robin and the Yellow Lantern Batman, right? <laughs> <laughs> now again, all the repaints have completely gone out the door. Some really work, like this one. Others, well, you can go watch my video on that. It's good as a selection for those that want a different change of pace, if anything. But in either case, those are my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Sinestro Core Batman. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for setting this out for an early look for you guys. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep it coming with the Batmans. But make them crazy. Do something different. Let's get a uh, Kelly Jones Batman with the huge ears and the weird proportions. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.